Um, this is my first time I'm speaking English to this group, so let's see how it's going. <laughs> I used to speak in Spanish and I really love words, and for me it's a big challenger because I knew that I don't have enough words to just to express on what I want to share with you. Um, whenever I do a consultation or a speech or a cooking class or it, it, when I be in front of people and I think to I serve to others, so I invite everybody just to be feeling more than think. So I invite you just two minutes, or maybe one, to even to help me to be canalize the, the words we needed to hear today. Because it's not just that my words is to be, oh, she's speaking English and she do it well. It's just to, <laughs> something that I give you today is useful. It's useful, is the word? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So please help me just to be relaxed and don't close your legs, close your eyes, and put your back straight, and just to, to feel, because we are always in the time of think. And feel is almost against to think. So please close your eyes. I close my eyes with you. Then it's a time to me as well to be relaxed and be very nervous. And I invite you to, if you hold something in your hands, just open your hands and help me to be a channel this morning to canalize a useful practice and love thing. So, of course, when we close our eyes, many thoughts come into our mind, like uh, opinions, judgments, and many other material of the mind. So I invite you to feel your feet, just to feel if the feet is comfortable, is open and relaxed and growing to your legs and feel your bottom relax and feel your, la your hands relax and go into your nostrils and feel the breathing just there coming as it coming and feel the air going out like it is natural. Just feel your breathing, your natural breathing, don't change. Just observe how it's in, how it's go out. If any thought come to your mind, just let go of feeling. Put your hands, um, I don't know how to say that, uh, prayer together prayer. in prayer position. And do this, I don't know how to say it in English. As much as you can. And let's put it in some place of your body you need, it's needed now to just be in touch. Just to touch you, to feel. Well, before I do my, 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 small, my short lecture, I would like to share all of you that one year ago when I be in a last conference, I thought very inside me that we have to do some practical things with macrobiotic. So I take a plane, I take a plane to Dani Mayor in Barcelona, I met Maria Casale in Madrid and I go in Vice Vasco. And I said, let's go to do something that really change. We work hard. We do an association. We have an, we don't say Spanish association, because we no, are not sure no. if Spain <laughs> continues to be Spain. But we do <laughs> a association, macrobiotic unit association. We work really hard in a year. We have now government, uh, government papers and everything with this association. And the next um, 18, November 18, we have our first Congress. We expect 
a hundred people, and we have support for uh, uh, natural food uh, factories in Spain, and we consider we have a thousand, could be more, no, Tani? A thousand people involved in microbiology in Spain. So we want to do, we have a web page that Tani will share with you this afternoon. We have a Facebook uh, as well, and we would like our, our illusion is that any country has its own association, then then we can be a federation, and with this federation we have more respect from outside. The idea of have an association in Spain is because we find out like how vegan has association, Reiki has association, and have some respect from the government. Even you know yoga, we have a very strong association in Spain, and when the government want to change things in the yoga classes. The association was there, like a group with identity, and the government has to do powers, some, some, some steps, because we are there now. So we, as Macrobiotic, I think we do a really great job throughout the history, but we do it so local. So inside, we don't show, and when we show, we show, like <laughs> Mario said, some very ideas. But not really. So it's just I uh, introduce you our association to welcome you to come to visit in November 18 to our mm, congress. You are all welcome to come. And um, yeah, we have to. We want to fill that web page with many things. And one of the thing is home premises. So here I go with home premises. And I am telling you a history. I know all of you have more this kind of histories in your life. I don't want just to, to tell you one, but I need to tell that history to bring you to the place why I think is really, very important, the home remedies. I know in microbiotic movement in the 80s was known by cancer. So in, we are, we have, or you are, you have some fear that people categorize microbiotic as a cancer. But we go to the other extreme. So we need something in the middle. And I think we have a macrobiotics movement, a thesaurus. How you say thesaurus? Treasures. A treasures, a really good treasures. And home remedy is one of them. I many times I shared with Chico when I came to this congress. Oh my god, we talk about many philosophy things, but we don't never share practical things. Like, a, a, like a, as a group. So I tell you my, the history of my sister. She, we are four kids, and when we are a child, my father said, used to say to me, you are so beautiful. And my sister said, and me, father? And he said, you are a good girl. No. You are a very good girl. <laughs> good girl doesn't exist. Exists kids. So I was rebel and allowed me to be rebel. And she has to be very good girl, otherwise she lose her um, status. Mm -hmm. So she do it a very good girl. Mm -hmm. My father wants me to study to be a lawyer. I don't. <laughs> My sister do it. She was a lawyer, and not just a lawyer. She has to prove to my father that she is really good enough. She was one of the most important lawyer we have in Colombia. She she worked. She used to work to the parliament in Colombia and has a terrible illness. She, when she was 14 years old, she has to have penicillin every week. And she, bis she was busy for the best doctors in the world. You know Juan Elkin Patarroyo? He was a Nobel Prize in medicine. And she visited her. Then they discovered it, a, a, when she was almost 18 years that she had some kind of lupus, arthritis rheumatoide. So she took cortisone for 20 years. She took anti-inflammatory for 20 years, and she took, for the last 10 years, uh, metrotexac, that is a way of chemotherapy. Terrible life. She was, she's not, she's too soy, soy too. She wants to be mother all the time. She was not possible, she was infertile. She do the first treatments in Colombia to be artificial fertilicides. She has many, Miss Carriages. And not, 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 not kids, but she has a very good job. 
with secretaries around and people very terrible, painful illness. 17 years ago, when Emilio and I married in Spain, she came to my marriage. This marriage? Wedding. 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 You are yeah. very good with yeah. me. <laughs> and I saw her as a media. I can't believe it. We help a lot of people. You are my sister. Please. It's your life. So, just start my probiotic. She take for her one year, just me. She start with the basic simple things with this another treasure you have in my, we have in macrobiotic. That is a treasure more important than science and everything, that is yin and yang. This is a treasure. I don't know why we regret of that. This is a really treasure. Because it could be just a standard macrobiotic, but it's not even how is her condition and how are his constitution, it works in her. She start and after one month, one month I have to say that she has some very special condition to be cured. That is, all her purpose in life was to be cured. I have to say that she was, at that time, vegetarian. She do magnetic things. She do, she do energy, um, bio, bio, bioenergetic medicine. She do all kind of treat, natural treatments to be cured. Um, but it's still not cured. So she started that, that diet. That was really terrible because we start to take out a bit every day at small grams of medicines, just slowly by slowly. And then I find out that it's not only food, of course. So after one month to start that diet, uh, I suggest her to do a vipassana. To do, to, she do her vipassana, and it was incredible because when she come back, she told me that in Vipassana, not thinking. It's not, a, it's not a creative think. It's not a creative meditation. It's not to, it's not to, to create another reality. It's to see what it is as is it. So she saw, she, see, she feel that when she was a child, all the angriest, of the, of the, of the, she never behaved, she was a very obedient girl, but all that angriest came to the joints and poison there. And when she was in the past, and I feel like, how all the poison go out. And I think it was 70% of his cure. I'm, I'm sure about it. But without food, that 70% was, was not whole. So, home remedies. It is home remedies. Pain. <coughs> it is a very painful illness. So every night, we make uh, ginger oil, sesamo and ginger oil, and brushing her, her joints, then in the morning, that was less pain. Her kidneys has to, to detox a lot, of, a lot, thousands of chemicals. So ginger compress, it's helped a lot. Because it has a lot of mucus inside, those most of plast, it's like, like that, most of plast, yeah. plast. has a lot to discharge. So this daikon and kombu and shiitake help a lot to discharge as well. Because she is discharging a lot of garbage, give this, this emotional was like this. So this sweet vegetable broth make her establish. So use those home remedies with gin and yang, not just as a miracle. It's not because good or bad. It's knowing when we have to do it, for how long we have to do it, help my sister to be now. After late 40s, she be pregnancy. I have a great nephew, nephew. 12, 13 years old. Just after one, one, one year, 13 years old, she don't have any, not just mass, symptoms of arthritis rheumatoid. When she, when she be pregnant, the, the, the doctor said, from what country you, you came? You know, I am Colombian. And she said, Colombian. She said, okay. Like, like thinking, she never had lupus. This is not impossible to be cured. So she said, I've been consulted by Juan Elkin Patarroyo. Oh. <laughs> Should be. 
he don't have any symptom. And then the, the beautiful part of this is that she decided to be in this pain. <coughs> so she has, you know, the laws of, mm, for being a lawyer in Colombia and Spain are so difficult, so different, sorry. So she, she wants to, how you say it, uh, to homologate. Homologate, yeah. Yeah, and then during the process she vomit, she feel really bad. And she find out, no, I am, a, I am not a lawyer. <laughs> I am a helping person. So we she walk a very walk walk no often okay. a really a small shop giving salts all microbiotic food and helping people every day and she's so happy, so cute. So I don't say home remedies are mm, uh, the ones who make he cure, but what supported her and I just want to, to finish this, this lecture or this speech asking you for this course this afternoon which remedies you use if it's, if it's uh, helping people and um, what do you think that there are really you know? because I remember when I, but my first time I do kusu with umebosi was a small amount of kusu and we used it just when really was needed and now we, we use more kusu so I would like you to, to share this afternoon those practical things, and I, I, and I really think those treasures, treasures for yeah. remedies could be in our web page. This is part of our identity. One of the things, well, like Mario said today, that, that the media is talking about macrobiotics. Good! We get it. If people is talking about macrobiotics, we are making sounds. So that's good. The thing is, we have to be, to have a, our identity, to be, to be agree, we are never agree with definitions here. It's incredible. So to be agree with humildad, how you said humildad, humble, humble. 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 to some that idea this uh, daily pro, and to be now as a professional, I think it's more in the atmosphere of this year to to define uh, to what things are important for us. We think. Um, nos, okay. nos reflejan como grupo, nos definen como grupo, define us, define us like as a group, uh, and that's it. <laughs>